Hey there, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show, and today we're going to take my HP Streambook and we're going to throw a better operating system on it than Windows. Hey, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show. A couple episodes ago, we replaced the battery in my uh, HP Stream, in my roaming cam on here, so this is my little HP Stream. It's... It, it was a fairly good laptop. I mean, the the hardware seems to be pretty quick. The battery, now that I've got it replaced, uh, is working pretty good. Um, it's charging. It has, you know, all of its faculties intact. They're not plugged in, so we're going to plug it in. Oh, okay. Now we're plugged in. All right. So we're plugged in. We're good to go. we got power charging. It's running. Everything's working. But the problem is, uh, if I come over here to, you know, my... My notifications says select uh, this message fix. Can't install updates. Select this message to fix. Well, the problem with these laptops is if I look at the drive space, now here it's showing me there's three gig left out of, it has a 32 gig uh, SSD or uh, they're like uh, solid, little tiny solid state drives in them. And there's not enough space to do Windows updates. You can't, it's ridiculous. You don't put anything on here. Windows has come, is so bloated. That, I mean, if I go in here, it shows there's a Windows drive, there's extra Windows underscore BT folder, which is the upgrade. It's trying to do a version upgrade because what, what version does this have on it? We can look here real quick. Go here, go properties. So, this has, I need to do win version. So it's probably trying to update to like 1909 or something like that. And it just doesn't, doesn't make it. So we'll look at Winver. Yeah, so this is 1607. So this is pretty old. So it wants to update to one of the newer, you know, 2018, 2019 versions. And there's not enough space, not enough space to download. Not enough, it's just ridiculous. So asking a consumer, to deal with that and to deal with one of these laptops, the other way to really update Windows is to load it onto a USB drive. Take that and completely erase the system and, you know, install Windows completely from scratch because if there's anything on it, it's going to fail. It's not going to have enough space. Completely, completely ridiculous. So, what are we going to do? We're going to pick a better operating system. Now, what I usually do... Um, I'm going to download, well, I already have downloaded um, uh, Linux Mint with the, I like the Mate interface is much more what, what I like. So um, how I do that is I go to Pendrive on Linux um, and download this universal USB installer. Uh, click OK. Then I come down here. There's a Linux Mint option here in the little menu. It's pretty straightforward. So since I already have the ISO downloaded, I can just browse and pick my Linux Mint 19.3 Mate 64 ISO, and I pick a USB drive, and I can format it um, and and do that. But I already have I have my drive right here that's already been done because this takes like 20 or 30 minutes sometimes to get loaded on here. But that's how I get it on the drive. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Just go through the little thing. Often I'll just reformat it FAT32 just to clean off anything, and then you can wipe the disk. You know, just to make sure that it's completely clean and create your drive. Okay, so put this back in here. Now this laptop has uh, secure boot enabled, so uh, we're gonna have to. We, I was hoping to not have to turn that off. If there's any drivers that don't allow like Wi-Fi to work, that's on this thing, then we'll have to disable that. I prefer not to, but. Um, we do need to shut it down. We, if we try and reboot it, this BIOS won't let it, won't let you hit any keys in order to get into a different boot mode to boot from the USB. So you always have to shut it down. It's very peculiar. <laughs> um, so it does take a little while to shut down because I can see the, over here, uh, the little power light is still on. It's still trying to shut down. I mean, they turn the screen off, of course. Got to turn do that, but. No, we're going to take a while to actually turn everything off. So, and still waiting, still waiting, still waiting. 
still waiting. It's it's fooling you. Okay, there we go. Now we're off. Now we hit the button on, and we kind of pound on the escape key over here. And then it'll say escape, pause started. So we'll go down to... Now I've done this before, which is very weird on this computer. I've come down here and I've hit enter, and the computer booted. So it says F, you can, it's weird. You can move these things around. It says to hit F9 for the boot menu. So we're going to do that. Okay, so we're going to go down one to the USB hard drive and hit that. And this says start Linux Mate. Yes, we're going to start Linux Mate. Linux Mint Mate Terminal. So this takes a few minutes. It takes a few minutes to come up. Um, my camera is completely out of focus, so we're going to adjust that here really quick and go here. Advanced. Turn the autofocus off. There we go. Now we're back in focus. Okay. So, like I said, this takes a little bit to, to get going. I do have a little capture device that I'm using, so let me see if that's going to actually be working. And I go here. Yes, it's working. So I have this. Uh, there's this cable here that I have sticking out with this little StarTech video capture device that seems to actually be working for the most part. So we'll see how this comes up. Takes a minute here. Including, I can see the mouse. We have networks available. We have the Linux Mint logo there okay so we have our linux mint installer here and we're going to open that so this is going to take a little while because we are dealing with coming off of a usb drive and this system i do believe only had usb 2.0 so we're going to do english of course i don't think i could do anything else and continue uh, we're going to do English keyboard, English US, because I am in the United States. Okay, now this is something that I need to definitely deal with. So I'm going to pick uh, Endgame as my wireless network, and I'm going to click Connect. Okay, so let's put in the super secret password. connect and see if we connect so this is important step right here um, one it's good that it sees the the network just off of the base Linux Mint install so this tells me in order to connect to Wi-Fi and have this connected to Wi-Fi I'm not going to need any of the uh, third-party drivers which if I did then I'd have to disable EFI and the secure boot and stuff I would have to disable that so here the next screen is install third-party drivers Software for graphics, Wi-Fi, and other things. It looks like I'm not going to have to do that. So because I connected fine. Okay, we're going to hit continue again. Okay, now this, when it started up from the disk, did mount the Windows drive. So we need to click yes here just to unmount that Windows drive in order to install our Linux now onto the drive. Okay. So we're going to continue here. Should come back once I see the over that my other screen that the Linux partition or the Windows partition has unmounted. So, so we need to one things we want to do here is erase and install Linux Mint. Is yes what I want to do. Okay, so let's go install now. Okay. So warning if you continue nothing everything is going to be gone thank you i will send microsoft a letter telling them their operating system sucks and i'll send hp a letter saying what were you thinking building this thing with such a small drive because that's ridiculous okay we're close i am in the los angeles time zone which is pretty Easy to do. Continue. Okay, so now we're going to put in a name. And then we're going to go. 
stream 13. Do that, we'll do my super secret password. I know it's not very strong, but I can change it. And I just want to get moving forward, so continue. Okay. So now, boom, we're installing Linux Mint. Okay, so I'm going to take a pause on this recording. And because you don't want to watch this progress bar just go completely across the screen for the next hour. But we'll come back when we get to the end. All right? Hang on. Okay, we're back. We got all the co files copied. Now it's just telling us to restart now. So we're going to restart and boot the laptop into Linux Mint. Only take a couple of seconds. Here we go. We're rebooting. I'm going to remove my USB here really quickly. Over this camera. Let's see what happens here. Starting, there's a little Linux Mint logo. We actually have Linux Mint coming up on our capture device. Up wants my super secret password. There we are, we have Linux Mint running on this little laptop. So, welcome to Linux Mint. Thank you. Your first steps, your first other things, all that other fun stuff. We have a command prompt here. We're gonna do a df-lh. So, um, we're gonna look here and it says our main volume here, the root volume here used is 7.3 gig, available 20 gig. So this is a little different from before when we had Windows on there, and it's like we had worse than the opposite. We had, you know, 30 gig total, and we were using 27, and only had, we had three left. So we could do nothing, no upgrades, no nothing. Here we've got 20 gigabytes to play around with. Um, just continue using and, and I mean, I think there's probably, isn't there a uh, applications already on here? We don't want package manager menu. I'm going to go to network home folder computer. Go to all applications. Here we go. We got Office. We have full LibreOffice on here. We've got web browsers, we got some drawing programs, we've got all of our accessories, I mean, we got like everything we need, right? I mean, I can do office stuff, I can load a couple extra little programs, whatever, I can load Chrome if I want Chrome, or I think Edge is, uh, the new Edge is also out for Linux, so I can even load that. Um, everything's on here, I mean, I've got, we are connected to the internet, so I should be able to go here, go to internet, go to Firefox, and open this up, and have it browse the internet. So, go. Boom, we're, we're on the internet. So it's, we can actually move this over to the other window, which will make it a little bit easier. There we go, we're on the internet. We're doing, doing everything that we need to do. And this thing's pretty lightweight. Um, it actually sees the Bluetooth device. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. And we've got Linux Mint running on this thing. And now it's ready to go. So I can do updates. I can do the, everything that I need. Um, I won't have to worry about updates, not having enough space for updates, not being able to do updates because the drive's out of space, um, all that stuff. Just, just very, very nice. Um, I'm going to do my regular updates here, uh, which I'm, you know, if you're familiar with, you know, kind of Debian based Linux, you know, app to get updates and, and, and all that we'll be doing that soon um, just there we go wow easy peasy 
Linux Mint on a little HP street. Okay, well that's that's the quick easy install. I mean, it, it really went fine. I mean, I was surprised that there were no hardware problems, that I didn't have to load any third-party drivers. Uh, but now I've got tons of space, able to do whatever I need to do with this laptop. I'm going to do some battery testing, see how long the battery lasts with Linux Mint. Um, but it, I'm I'm happy with it right now. So this would be a nice little good lightweight carry around, throw in a bag kind of laptop just to take around with me and do some, you know, and and if it gets wiped out. You know, if, if I like have a security problem, something somewhere, and I need to wipe it out, it's just easy, you know, all your data, you can keep it on in Google or whatever, and then this is an easy erase, you know. You go through an international checkpoint, just erase it, right, and and reload. Just keep your little USB with, with your Linux Mint, and you can erase and be right back where you were. So pretty cool, pretty handy dandy, all right? Well, thanks for watching this one, and uh, if you have any questions about Mint or how I installed it or any other issues about this HP stream, whether you should get one, probably not. Get one, get a regular Chromebook if you're gonna be, be doing this and wants, want something like this, but um, yeah, there we go. All right, thanks for watching this one. Take care.